Looney Farm Guy here, and this is the T Wolf Egg Repower by the MTL modding team for Farming Simulator 22. This is for all platforms, PC, Mac, and console. I'm on PS5 here on Fox Farm to demonstrate and test this unique and interesting piece of equipment. Uh, this is 9.24 megabytes to download. This, you say, might say this looks quite familiar because it is a modded version of the Prenuth. Nice, it has the T-Wolf and the deckling and the branding, very nice. Uh, so where do we find this? Well, this is gonna be actually under large tractors, but first, just a quick peek. Here is the uh, Litwolf AgriPower, the base game, and this is a modified version of it and very smartly done, I might add. <clears throat> Here it is, T-Wolf Agri-Power, 199500 dollars to purchase it is 20 slots on console 700 horsepower variable rate transmission 475 liters uh, fuel capacity and a top speed of 37 miles per hour 8.8 .8 tons let's have a look at it in the store here and so uh, uh the first thing obviously you notice that it doesn't have the blade on the front and there's a very good reason for that because this is really to be used as a tractor <clears throat> on your farm <coughs> excuse me uh, options are beacon light none and original both right left led both right left and then none so if we go to what well no charge for any of that so you can do whatever you want fenders come as standard equipment but you can remove those front weight now here's gets interesting hitch or front hydraulic. It adds $7,635 to the purchase price, but it is well worth it. It already has a three-point link on the rear, so that is pretty much standard. And then color, main color, we have all the Giants colors. Uh, you can go orange, so if we change that to, uh, let's say, navy blue, no. Uh, let's go yellow, there we go. And it very plainly shows you all the bits. Interior color, let's make that pink. And that changes the radiators on the sides, as you can see there. And the interior uh, plastic bits there. Front hydraulic color, you can make that very specifically a different color, orange perhaps in this case. And the exhaust pipe. Uh, we can change that to uh, the used aluminum or coarse aluminum. And note charge for uh, that color change, but $1,500 and $800 for the main interior and hydraulic color options. Right, so let's hop in. Interior. Uh, I chose blue for this, or I think this is, the, sorry, this is the standard one. So it has blue as the default interior. Let's start it up. <clears throat> right, outside, uh, this one doesn't have, okay. So we have a couple of options here. L1, right stick left and right, opens and closes the door and up and down opens and closes the right door. I think what's gone on here is instead of the blade raising and lowering the blade, they have used it to open and close the doors. Sneaky. <laughs> and then the horn. So everything else is pretty much standard. Uh, nothing other than the color options and the blade removal. I do believe it's pretty much standard. Uh, with speed, is the speed, I didn't, sorry, I didn't check. Top speed, 12, oh yeah, uh, yes. So the, the speed has been increased dramatically, which is awesome. And it does get up to that speed fairly well. Now, being a tracked vehicle, it does turn quite sharply. So let's turn the lights off there. 
Uh, do we have signals? Yes, we have signals up there. Left, right. Right. So that's just the base game one. Let's uh, let's turn that off and hop over. Well, let's hop over here for a moment. There's so here I have uh, one that I've uh, done up with uh, some special colors, of course, and hooked up a large 500 horsepower cultivator to it. And I just wanted to show you what the worker does when you hire him. And um, it does a little bit of a, a funny thing when it turns around at the end. I just wanted to show you the turnaround here. And then we're going to go look at the other one I have in the grass field. And the turnaround seems pretty um, efficient. As you can see here, the turning radius is obviously, or, well, expectedly very small but it seems to line up pretty nicely not a whole lot of um finagling but the, the 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 moving back seems to be seems to get a little bit out of sorts and does a little bit of a snaky type of a thing as you can see here a little waggle but eventually straightens out and it doesn't actually affect coverage and away he goes at a nine miles per hour which is what this cultivator is rated at so plenty of horsepower plenty of traction um turning radius is quite small very nice so let's hop over here now here i've attached a very large mower to the front and a wind rower to the back to show you just a little just one of the ways uh, this can be used uh, just like a tractor really but I did want to show the turnaround on this as well so uh, the worker recognizes there's something on the back didn't miss anything so we're gonna turn around here and with this setup it seemed a bit less precise as you can see here the workers perhaps a tad discombobulated although not really missing a lot but making a bit of a mess and does eventually straighten out but misses just a tiny little bit on the side which I imagine it could be quite annoying. So perhaps a tweak. I don't know. I don't know what that all entails or um, why um, why he's doing that. So, but anyways, uh, that is just one of the things I kind of found out. If you're operating it yourself. Um, obviously no problem you can adjust that but if you have a worker do stuff like I do often um, this might become a bit of an issue now I didn't test everything I haven't tested cedars and planters and all that sort of thing so um, there there possibly could be other issues or this could be the only one um, I, I don't have time to test it that far but overall it seems to work really nice and i do love the concept um, of taking something and making it much more useful than it was for sure and uh there that's just my short test um it's not a it's not an uh, extensive testing but overall it seems to work fine at least manually it works perfectly um workers for the most part work good might need a little tweaking and there it is the t-wolf agripower by the mtl modding team on farming simulator 22 thank you all for watching i'm looney farm guy and remember it's only a game so till next time bye for now